10% soap, 10% glycerin, 80% water. If we compare this to life, it will be 10% knowledge, 10% experience, and 80%, which is the water, represents attitude. 80% that our bubbles or dreams do not fail depends on attitude. We can find two very different definitions of a soap bubble. One, a thin sphere of liquid that contains air or some type of gas. And two, it can be used to refer of a good situation that is detached from reality. He lives inside the bubble. You know that. For me, when I see a bubble, it represents the present, the now because you never know when it's going to pop. The bubbles make me live the present. They encapsulate my ideas, my dreams. I have been working for about two decades with soap bubbles. I could say that I'm kind of an expert in the field. When we see a bubble in the air, I repeat, we see the present. Beyond the beauty of something symmetrically perfect, circular, with the colors of the rainbow, a complete cycle like the earth, the sun, the moon, and this unintentionally take us back to our childhood. But why? Because a bubble is timeless. Our grandparents played with bubbles. Our parents, ourselves, and our children will play with bubbles in the future. Bubbles remind us of those moments when the time has stopped. It's a picture, it's a memory. Just as when we look at the fire, we are hypnotized by its magical attraction. A bubble captures our attention whether we want it or not. And yes, dreams like bubbles pop. Don't worry, we can blow another one. And we can make a new one. And one more. And the more we make, the more we are present and eager to continue with new dreams. Let's define from now on Bubbles as a new thought, new dreams. But you don't have to make bubbles. You just need to think in something that you want to do. Metaphorically speaking, there is two interesting concepts. A bubble directs our attention and even our thought without us wanting to. In magic, it happens the same way. We call it misdirection. Or put it in another way, the audience look where the magician wants them to look. This seems like uh, an illusion, what I'm talking about. I still haven't told you. I'm a magician, an illusionist. A wizard. <laughs> I create illusion. Since I was a child, I always played with bubbles. I always liked them. My career took me traveling around the world, experimenting with new ways of communication. Since when I was a kid, I moved from Rosario, it's a small city, to Buenos Aires, which was a big change for me. I became the weird guy, the different one. And we are talking about 300 kilometers away. <laughs> because of my work, I moved from Buenos Aires to Barcelona, and then Madrid, Paris, Singapore, Shanghai, and then Beijing. But I do not feel the weird guy anymore. Well. Because I think, at the end, we are all a little bit from everywhere. But I have a problem now. I have Italian blood. I was born in Rosario, Argentina, and I live in China. So when the World Cup arrives, who do I cheer for? <laughs> at least I have more opportunities. I can switch team, depend on the score, right? Well, once a dream came true for me, but how come? if dreams do not usually come true. I had one. I wish I could work in a famous cabaret show in Europe called Crazy Horse in Paris. But imagine how come a boy from Argentina can achieve that. It was pra practically impossible. And I didn't even have an act. So someone told me, if you want to travel with your magic, you should create an act that packs small, plays big, and no heavier than 20 kilos. So I thought, what, what else lighter than bubbles? 
Little by little, I start to develop the act, and uh, finally it was born and grew, and finally I had it. But having the act didn't warranty to the entrance to that place. I tried so many ways to get there. I sent VHS videos. I guess you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> DVDs. Uh, anyway, uh, I sent letters, uh, brochure, I contact agencies, nothing. The bubble popped all the time. Reaching that dream is getting, was getting farther and harder. I couldn't get that bubble last longer in the air. Sometimes it was bursting for some unknown reasons. But this is the way things are in life. Like the mother of Forrest Gump say, life is like a chocolate box. You never know what you are going to get. However, I, I am convinced that we should try not to get distracted and try to learn how to live in the present with desire to do things that make feel us good. In magic, as I say, we use misdirection to do cool things. But if we take that distraction into our thought in real life, we have to pay attention. For example, if I blow a bubble in the air, you will look at the bubble. If I look at you now, you will look at me. But if I back to the bubble, you back to the bubble. And actually, it's this burst, one, two, three, burst, I look, you look at me back. <laughs> it's a very simple example of misdirection. But if I put something else, some little element, you will see what happened. <laughs> For example, now I can touch the bubble. So you look at the glove, you look at the bubble, you look at my face, you look at the tube, and suddenly you get distracted. This is the misdirection. Anyway, thank you. But so actually, uh, if we take this into daily life with our thought, with our dream, for example, we have a dream over there. We want to achieve it. But suddenly, we make a new one, and perhaps another one, and one more. So we get distracted from the previous one, and even the first one, we don't remember what dream was. So I think we should make the first bubble last as long as possible. One of the most everlasting bubbles that I have ever made was when I left Argentina to, for the first time to compete in the United States. I didn't speak English back then, and I still don't. <laughs> but I was saving money for about four years to be able to compete in these two most important competitions in the US, the IBM and the SAM. A lot of things happened there. I could make another TED out of that. But the thing is, I got the first prize in both competitions and the highest score for the last 78 years. They told me that. Perhaps I didn't understand properly. <laughs> I was 25 years old uh, about two years ago. <laughs> well, I wish. But so perhaps with awards and things, my ego was a little bit distracted. But I still visualize in the bubble in the air. So I jumped to Holland for the World Championship of Magician. This time, 4,000 Magician. This time, I got the third place of the world. But somehow, for my magician's friends, the bubble has burst. They, they felt frustrated. They told me I should got the first prize. My experience had been extraordinary. I had been able to show my act for the all magicians in the world, and they gave me standing ovation. What else I could ask for? So don't let people burst your bubble. Follow your intuition. At the end, it will burst by itself. So when the competitions end, someone approached me and invite me for a new competition in Monte Carlo, in Monaco. A month later, I was there with my bubble intact to new possibilities, to new challenge. The competition were made in five days in a row with a jury of celebrities and some people from entertainment business. For my surprise, the competitors were the same as the World Championship of Magicians a month ago. 
So the first and the second place competed again with me. I was the third place. Obviously, I was expecting the same result. The bubble popped again. <laughs> but no, I got the first place. Basically, I beat in the first and the second place of the world. <laughs> Not bad. Back to Buenos Aires, between trips and trips, with achievement, with lasting bubbles, awards. You can imagine I made my mother very happy. But at that precise moment, something very different happened. My mother, who gave me the name Mirko, that means person who brings peace, and also means magician in old Yugoslavian language. She, sometimes I felt like she marked my destiny. She always supported me in doing what I wanted to do. And she used to say, no matter what happened, you need to keep going. Suddenly she got sick. And one day at the hospital, I embraced her. And I wish that moment could last much longer than a bubble. The awards no longer matters nor the competitions. The only thing that matters was that moment could last forever. So life taught me a message or a lesson. No matter what happened, you need to keep going. She left this world. She didn't leave me. She's still here and here. So no matter what happened, keep going was her word. So making bubbles took another meaning they will never be the same, but I am still making them. After that, a uh, few months later, um, after a TV show in France, a woman approached and congratulated me, and she said, I have a, a small theater that we give shows. I could like to hire you. Uh, well, yes, and uh, I asked her what it was. She said, the crazy horse in Paris. She was the owner herself in front of me. Believe it or not, my dream came true. I hugged her, I kissed her. <laughs> I was shaking, she was head shaking. I was very happy and she was very happy and she told me I will contact you shortly and she left. When you are in front of your dream, a lot of strange, weird things go through your mind and your body. Actually, you don't know how to absolve them. Uh, a few months later, I was behind the curtain of the legendary Crazy Horse in Paris. The bubble was there with me, with a bitter taste, but with the joy of having made a lot of effort to get there. So the curtain opened, I did my performance, everything went well, curtain closed, you back to the dressing room. Now you, it was the time to generate new dreams. Since our childhood, when we see a bubble in the air, we want it to last and not to burst, like our dreams and our goals. So, but we must to learn how to live the present with desire to do things that fill our soul. If we make decisions or we start a new path that we think is the right one, trust your intuition. If it gets cloudy, you cannot see very clearly, it might seem that Achieving those goals might seem impossible. Don't worry. On the contrary, perhaps that bubble will stay longer than you thought. And beyond what we see in that crossroads, something extraordinary is waiting for you. Let me show you if the bubbles get a little bit cloudy and we cannot see very clearly. but they stay longer than we thought. Perhaps beyond what we see in that crossroad, something extraordinary is waiting for you. Ooh. Now, I invite to all of you not to, <laughs> not just to make your own bubbles and your own dreams, and not only here, actually here. Perhaps this is a good way, maybe, to make your dreams solid realities. Now I invite all of you to take the little bottle and just be ready to open it. And now I would like to say something that I hear from a pet bow, an artist, and he said, the world need to make less bombs and more bubbles.
Great. Thank you. All right. Bye.